Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you what to do if you're getting the Modern Warfare 2 GPU driver version errors on Windows 11 and how to fix them in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to clear the GPU cache. Now to do this, open up an instance of File Explorer, then click on the address bar and simply type the following path. Now press on enter and in here what you have to do is scroll way down until you find the NVIDIA folder, double click on it to expand it, then double click on DX cache and in here what you have to do is delete all the content. So press shift and delete and delete permanently all the items. Now go back to the original NVIDIA folder, then simply head over to the GL cache and once again delete all the items in it. Press shift and delete then click on yes and that's pretty much it. And now the last thing you have to do is go back to the local folder and in here locate the NVIDIA Corporation folder and double click on it. And in here make sure to expand NVCache and again delete all the content inside. Now restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update the GPU drive. Now to do this right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options. And in here in the Device Manager window make sure to expand Display Adapters. Then right click on the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. Now click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best available drivers for your PC. Afterwards you can check if the problem still persists. Next, another useful solution is to install the latest DirectX version. How to do this, open up your default browser and access the link that I posted in the description below. This is the official Microsoft page for downloading DirectX and user runtime web installer. So scroll down until you find this option, select the language that's native to you, then click on the download button. Now choose a location, preferably on your desktop and select the save button. And from here on, just proceed by opening the web setup executable. Follow the on-screen instructions and then install DirectX. Then you can restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to update Windows. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. And afterwards, click on Windows Update on the left pane. And then on the right side, click on the Check for Update button. Windows will now try to scan for the latest updates and if it finds any, it will prompt you to download and install them automatically. Afterwards, you can just check your computer if there's any problem with it. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.